Welcome ladies and gentlemen, it's Steve here from Tweaktown. Today we're doing a little quick guide on Super O's Super O Booster. This is a Windows application designed to allow you to overclock. So you have a bunch of menus here. You can even update the BIOS. You can change voltages, control your fans, uh, tune the memory, and the CPU. Some of these setting changes require restarts, such as memory, and I'll show you that really quick. So we're going to do an easy 5 gigahertz overclock. As you can see here, we're at stock, 4.4 gigahertz with one core of 4.5, which is Super Micro's uh, little code. So there's a few things I want to mention. Um, don't change EIST or turbo mode. You won't be able to overclock if you change these. Uh, you do want to change this maximum temperature. I don't know why it's set to 51. I think 80 is where most people are very comfortable. Uh, we can change the CPU voltage, and you want to be you want to be uh, kind of careful with this because it goes all the way to two volts. We don't want that. We want I want a little like 1.3, um, 1.33, and I'll show you later on. I'm also going to increase the LLC, which you can do here. So 1.33, and you see how fine the control is. One millivolt each step, which is kind of insane to be honest with you. Uh, so we do, we'll do 1.325, uh, and we're going to take all cores up. Hitting the bottom one will allow you to change them all at the same time. We can hit apply right now if you wanted to, and we'll be okay. And we go over here, and we'll see that they'll go up to 5 gigahertz when a load is applied, like right there, all cores. And then we can go to voltage, and I want to change my LLC. Level 1 is the strongest, so this will basically... You see the voltage is 1.336. If a load is applied on level 1, it'll probably go to 1.35. Level 2 allows for a small drop, so that would be around 1.3 volts or 1.31 volts applied. So we're going to apply that little LLC. And <laughs> this is real time too. So you can change your load line calibration real time. I don't think other brands actually offer that. Maybe they do, but it's here. Memory is a little bit different. You require a restart on the memory. I'm going to hit XMP1. Now you also have the ability to do a custom mode and the custom mode will show you a memory frequency. So you can go through all the multipliers that the board offers. I'm just going to go to XMP1. XMP is what I'm comfortable with. Uh, these are the timings my memory likes. When I hit apply here it's going to ask me if I want to restart and I'm going to have to say yes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I wanted to show you the result of the overclock. So here we have 5 gigahertz on the CPU. We'll go up and down between 800 and 500. Memory is at 1600 megahertz, which is 3200 megahertz. And those are the right XMP timings. Uh, thermals, you can always go and change your fan uh, in case you want to uh, make it faster. You have control over each individual header. You can change the reference temperatures and you just drag. So if I change the reference temperature on the CPU to PCH, the color will change as well. So it's a handy little tool. And uh, you can also save profiles. So I have one for 5 gigahertz already saved here. If I want to reset and then load it, I could do that and experiment. It's a lot quicker. BIOS update is here. Uh, I'm going to hit no, and then you can go and pick a file to update against. So this software is pretty handy. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave your feedback. Uh, in the comments section or on our Facebook page. Supermicro wants your feedback, so if they can make their product better, they want to learn, which is not a bad thing. That's a cool thing from a company. All right, guys and gals, thank you for watching, and please come back again.